Oh, Billy, you still can't find the weapon that you want? You tried Dooley's Brellas and even the Clash Blaster. I know, Sheldon, it sucks. Maybe I'll just stick to shooters. Straightforward weapons that are easy to use. All right, how's this weapon? Too edgy. The f uh, okay, this? Too brain dead. I'm going to snap your- Okay, how's this? It's a massively popular weapon with great range and coverage. Ooh, I love this one. Thanks, Sheldon. Booyah, booyah, I love this weapon. I'll be a pro player in no time. Oh, about that. Discretion is advised. The last weapon class. We've done nine other parts of this series, which you should go watch, by the way, and we're ending it with the shooters. Shooters are a humongous weapon class compared to, say, chargers or splatlings. They have weapons that compete with the up-close killing speed of rollers to the long-range chargers that pick off opponents one by one. There's more likely than not a shooter that suits almost any type of player's playstyle. To start off the list, we got the splatter shots. The splatter shots are a super reliable class that can take care of almost any role that you desire. They can be an expert slayer or a player that loves to silently steal a kill from your allies while your enemies aren't even looking. To start off, there's the good old Junior. I used to know a Spireshot Junior user that used Ink Armor more than the actual friggin' weapon itself. Oh, and by the way, the way his loadout will work would meant that you could throw two Splat Bombs, Armor, and then proceed to throw two more Splat Bombs. Okay, y'all, here we go. I got my ideal gear, so this is going to be explosive, to say the least. Alright, I use this weapon for the only thing it's good for, which is it's special. Also, you gotta love the Splat Bombs and the Junior's ability to hold 10% more ink than any other weapon. So, one bomb, two bomb, Armor, three bomb, four bomb, Haha, <laughs> are you guys aggravated yet? <laughs> There's also the normal Spire Shots and the Spire Shot Pros. The Pros are awesome for long range and laser sight RNG, and the Spire Shots are great for overall coverage and spamming this until the cows come home. Oh, I'm in a pinch. Burst Bombs, get me out of this. Thank you. My teammate's in trouble. I gotta save them. What's up, fool? Come on, my guy. The Pro is the RNG of a laser. Get shot. Oh, you really wanna come up to bat? Well, face this. Next up are the Aerosprays, the Turf War Titans. Aerosprays are some of the best inkers in the entire game. You might be asking what they sacrifice for max inkage, and well, the answer is... <laughs> Everything else! Aerosprays are great for getting specials, and those specials more times than not are what get them out of trouble 9 out of 10 times. Obviously, if I had a dime for every time an Aerospray RG or PG user panic button whenever they got their special, I'd be able to buy a heck of Lambos. Come on, come on, come on! I need my special and I'm being chased, and with this thing you just don't fight people. Haha, <laughs> you can't catch me. I'm gonna run for my life now. See you later, sucker! Almost there, almost there, almost yes! You have no power over me, mortal. I see. Speaking of short range shooters, I smell a rat. Rats. Rats. We're the rats. We pray at night, we stalk at night, we freaking annoy Turf War players at night. Blue your max are the ultimate flanker, and by flanker I mean- Yeah, Chief, I'll get to flanking them in a second. Just let me enjoy inking up their spawn real quick. Painting ink in their bases like popping bubble wrap, I swear! Omax are really deadly close up, with the splash having little to no RNG, and the sploosh needing to be shoulder to shoulder with you in order to actually kill you. Splash Omax have the capabilities to melt opponents that are in range, and the Neo even has burst bombs to assist it. The sploosh Omax Neo can lay beacons all around the map and support your team with 10 missiles as well. They're perfect for smuggling your teammates across the map and helping to aid them as well. Regular Spooshes have the ability to use their curling bombs to travel quickly around the stage, which is one of the reasons why they have so much success getting into your base. And the Splashdown, they have the best possible kit to invade and have a panic button even if necessary. It's all these suckers freaking do too. Alright, come on, we can do this! What? Okay, second time's the charm, I know that we can- Alright y'all, 10 time, I know that we mu- this game sucks. Moving on from the splashes and the splooshes, sounds like a show. We got the Powerpuff Gals. Get it? Because it's like girls, but gals. <laughs> also, because they're powerful. <laughs> I technically get paid to make these videos, and this is the best I can come up with. Gals are some of the most powerful shooters out there. They're a great two-hit weapon that can shred opponents immediately. To start off, the point fifty-two are a slow but powerful alternative to the Spire Shot and can kill opponents incredibly fast and don't feel like too much of a hindrance because of their fire rate. They can come in a regular, the Mickey Mouse version, and the Barbie version for those of you who want to be absolutely fabulous on the battlefield. Point ninety-six gals are a bit different. These things tend to be very slow at firing to the point where people can dip between the shots. Also, the RNG can get a little bit what? agitating at times. I'm glad that the deco has a splash wall. That's all I'm saying. Uh oh, an opponent hit them. Are you kidding me? How did I miss that? Ah, opponent, don't approach me. I swear I hit you two times. The counterparts to the gals will be the Enzaps. Enzaps, unlike gals, are fast and nimble, but take ever so slightly longer to kill. Enzaps are a 4 shot instead of a 2 shot, and come in 3 varieties the 85 and the Duck Hunt Zapper 89. 
and the Burgundy 83. NZFs are extremely speedy and have amazing strafing. They can charge up their specials incredibly fast, which is really good news for the 85 in particular. A lot of Ink Armor users might enjoy the 85 as it's more reliable in terms of RNG than the Splashout Jr. Sadly, this is a budget Splashout Jr. in terms of bomb armor tricks, but it still works nonetheless. One suck armor up, two suck. It still gets the job done. This weapon class reminds me of another four shot weapon class, which is the Squelchers. There used to be four Squelchers in Splatoon 1, but then Uncle Sheldon decided to snap the dual Squelcher in half and create the Dually Squelchers. It's like the stepchild of Duallys and Squelchers, but I consider it to still be in the Dually category. This just leaves Papa Jet remaining and it's a great backlining weapon. If you can't aim with a sniper or you don't like to charge with a splatling, the Squelcher is right up your alley. Squelchers are great for picking off opponents that are pressuring teammates, catching snipers off guard at their own range, or spacing out enemy players. The Jet also has a reliable close range option in the form of burst bombs. At least this isn't Splatoon 1 where it had the Kraken 2. Ooh, this thing got annoying to find ranked. A sniping weapon with burst bombs and a panic weapon is absolutely terrifying. You dare try to match my range, imbecile, get shot down. <gasps> you caught me sleeping just in once, but I got your number with these burst bombs, though. Not like I need any more range, but here's a little stingray for you as well. Enjoy! In conclusion, shooters are a huge weapon class that can substitute mostly for almost any other weapon. You can have an up-close shooter-like weapon, a long-range sniper, absolute garbage like this, I mean great turf anchors, and many more. Whew, six pseudo weapons down in one video. I thought about doing them all separately and I saw many of you wanted me to do them all separately. However, while I could on some of them, I probably couldn't have came up with enough good material for six different shooter types. That's why I just quickly covered them all in this video. What weapon class is your favorite? Let me know in the comments and remember to subscribe to Alphastar716 for more content on Splatoon 2 and other things gaming. See you all next time.